Hi guys, it's been a while, I know, but I'm finally back, and uh, we're doing a trip that I've wanted to do for about five or six years now. We're going to do the, uh, let me see if I can pronounce this right, the Revia-Hihedo Islands, otherwise known as the Socorro Islands, uh, and that's, that's the trip we're about to do. Uh, we got in yesterday, uh, stayed overnight, we're going to get on the boat later today, but I figured I should... Uh, I, uh, there was a sign here that the trip was, it was time to start talking and the trip would go well. And that's, uh, we were just going to walk the beach and we've just stumbled across uh, uh, a nest of baby turtles that are just hatching. So I think it's a good sign for the trip. I hope it is. <laughs> and yeah, Socorro Islands, I don't want to tell you too much until we get there because it's, it's all bang all the way. But yeah, let me give you a couple of shots of these turtles. Let's get started with that. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at uh, our little hotel, and uh, first of all, our resident uh, marine biologist over here, Lydia, uh, ID'd those baby turtles, and uh, they're loggerhead, right, uh, Lydia? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. I figured I'll introduce the rest of the group. We've got Lydia, who's organized our trip for us. That's Lydia. That Dina. 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 That's Lydia. Sorry. Lydia. <laughs> Lydia. Dina. Why'd I do that? Edit. Uh, and then, yeah, and then we got Tom here. Hello. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> no, that's Lydia too. <laughs> we're all yeah, Lydia. we're all Lydia's now. It's, it's just Lydia's happening. <laughs> Anyways, I think uh, what I'll do is I'll tell you guys a bit about the trip. So um, we're on the uh, Kino El Guadian. Um, it's uh, with Lex Mexico liveaboards. And uh, the one thing that's different about uh, Mexico liveaboards compared to most of the other ones is uh, we're in Cabo San Jose, and that's where we go out of, versus uh, most of them are out in Cabo San Lucas. Uh, that's my understanding, anyways. Dina can correct me if I'm oh, that's right. mistaken. That's right. Yeah, so coming here is a little bit different um, than than the typical, but uh, what we did was um, Dina took a... Dina's done this a few times, and she got us on a what's called the Colectivo, which comes... It's right, uh, right at the airport, and then... We went to what was it, the Tropicana Hotel, mm -hmm. right? And then we just Ubered from there, and that's the, that was the cheapest way. And yeah, I didn't have to think at all; it was great. <laughs> so twenty-eight, and then the taxi was probably yeah. five bucks. I think so, seventy. Yeah, yeah. So, Uber. Oh, wow, Uber seventy. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for now. I hope we're waiting around yeah, still to get on the boat, yeah, uh, and we're just chatting and goofing off. So I'll leave there. it there for now. <laughs>
Hey again guys, uh, so we're now on the boat, um, and uh, so far since getting on the boat we just, you know, did the unpacking, we did the, the mustard drill where we did the, with the life jacket safety procedures, and um, uh, other than that we've just had dinner, which is uh, the highlight of the night, and um, I'll quickly give you the review of that. The starter salad was fresh, light, and bounced off well with the feta. The main dish, the salmon, was quite moist and flavorful, and the mashed potatoes were quite buttery and uh, had a hint of garlic. Finally, it was Stephanie's birthday, so we got a birthday cake, which was uh, very, very flavorful and quite fluffy, and I enjoyed it quite thoroughly. Very great meal, all in all. And uh, you probably might wonder why I haven't actually done a tour of the boat yet. Uh, the basics of that is because I'm saving that for tomorrow. Uh, so when you do these trips out to the Socorro Islands, or Rediaki Hato Islands is the proper name for them, um, it's about a 26-27 hour boat ride from port to the first island, which is San Benedicto. So that means all day tomorrow we're at sea and we're not doing any diving. So I figure, nice time to just casually go through the, the boat, show you, you know, the galley, where we eat, uh, where I'm sleeping, all that. Um, so, basically we'll continue this tomorrow and uh, I'll see you when I wake up and we'll get on with that. So, good night, guys. The ocean stretches before us endlessly. No sign of any island for hundreds of miles. And this is day one of the journey to the Socorro Islands. Yeah, welcome to our first official day out. It's, uh, it's something to see the ocean like this. Nothing, nothing everywhere you look, like how the old sailors felt, but yeah, like I said yes, in yesterday's piece, um, we have a full day of this to get to uh, San Benedicto, our first stop. So I'm starting with the, with the best promised boat tour, and uh, I'm up on the sun deck right now because it's quiet right now, so I think it's a good time, so let's get started. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> okay, and this here is our sun deck. It's the top of the bottom of the boat. You can see this is where the... Um, the pangas are, that's the Spanish word for the skiffs or zodiacs, as you might know them. Uh, that's where they're stored when we're not uh, using them for diving. And here you can see the picnic table, and then this is where we can basically hang out. This is the uh, sunbeds and loungers. I'm sitting on a flattened one that looks like this one here at the moment. Uh, other than that, there's the roof. And over here is one more of them, the garbage can, and that little black fridge there. Um, has beer in it, which is uh, inclusive in the package for this boat. So, um, yeah, you can drink, just uh, don't do it before your last dive or you're done for the day. No alcohol when, when you're diving for us. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the very top of the boat. I guess we'll head down and uh, see some more as we go. All right, now I've come down off the sun deck through this ladder here. And so over here, we've got the bathrooms actually. We're down on the dive deck. All the bathrooms are on the dive deck. And you can see there's women's and men's floor. Take a quick look, this one's not locked. Got a full shower and a toilet in here, like this. And then over here is our sink, but there's another one like this on the other side. So the rest of the sun deck, you can see we've got all our gear here. I'm right there on number five. Uh, we've got our room assignments and things behind me. And down here, that is where our, the uh, pangas are going to uh, go in and out when we get on the dives, to go out for our dives. It's an important bit of the sun deck, which is obviously the camera tray table. It's not very really loaded up right now. Uh, there's also a bunch of charging ports here. Uh, as you may have known, that uh, a lot of boats nowadays don't want us charging down in our rooms because of the risk of fire, but uh, up here is my understanding at least is just fine to charge your, your batteries up here so that's uh that's the camera trade area that's the dive deck um let's move along the side here I'm gonna spin around sorry it's harder to do than i thought the boat is moving uh now i probably should mention the name of the boat is kino el guardian and uh it's an 80 foot former fishing vessel so that's how it started its life and uh you can see just there, those are the stabilizers that they have. And uh, 
For those of you who are seasick prone, those are lovely things to have because they keep it from rocking too much. Other boats that are bigger than this will rock more because they don't have them. Um, but very nice. I mean, there were still people seasick. I heard a couple of people puking last night. I managed to not, thank thankfully. But yeah, stabilizers. They're mwah, beautiful things. So coming down here by the stabilizers, this is the door to go inside. Ooh. It's gonna be a bit darker in here, so we're in. I'm waking people up. So it's not very bright in here right now. This is a TV room. It's a TV open. It's got seating. Kind of a poor man sleeping that I'm disturbing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And uh, small note, I slept here last night because uh, we didn't find the air conditioning and it gets really hot in the rooms if you don't have it on. So. First night in the boat, make sure you turn the, find the air conditioner and turn it on, otherwise you are going to be in a sweat box. Okay, next up, we're coming down the hallway. I don't to break my camera, of course. It's on the kitchen. Hey, no, no, just turn the kitchen off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so that's where all the magic of food comes from. And then obviously, further down here we have where we stuff our faces. I mean, eat. Um, <laughs> and. Yeah, there's a nice uh, little spread here. Uh, the way the way it generally works is uh, 6 a.m. there is the continental breakfast. With, you can see the fruit there, if I wasn't too fast with the camera, and bread basically. Uh, then it's dive one, uh, then it's real breakfast, or full breakfast, then dive two, then lunch, dive three, then snack, dive four, then uh, dinner, and then you're done. And sometimes it's three or four dives a day, but that's generally the pattern for the day and how we will be eating. Not that I've had a full day yet, but you know, I can see the future. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to do this out here where it's noisy. So yeah, I just came out of the kitchen door there. And if we walk along to the front of the ship, which is a little tricky, one hand. That's the that's the bridge basically where the captain is. We're gonna squeeze by this little spot here and do a Spider-Man. And, ah, out here is the front of the ship. Wasn't very graceful, but there's a lovely sunrise. Well, sun's up now, but... And as you can see, we're still looking at a whole lot of water. But yeah, that's the front of the ship, and that's pretty much the main deck. Uh, so, only thing left now is to go downstairs and see where we sleep. Because I didn't sleep there last night, because that lack of air conditioning, like I said. Okay, and finally, where we uh, do our sleeping and... Well, mostly sleeping. Uh, so, from the TV room, which is the TV here. Uh, first come down these steps, into the bowels of the ship. And, uh, like I said, Kino El Guardian uh, started life as a fishing vessel, so the accommodations are, are such that. Uh, so there's five rooms, you can see the numbers there, that's number three. I'm over there in number two. And most of these... Um, I'll go into mine. Hopefully no one's sleeping in there. Light switch is just here. Yeah, most of these it's bunks, it's bunks sleeping. So you've got, same as what I had on Blackbeard's actually, the sea explorer. You got two and two. I'm down there this time, I'm on the top, uh, bottom bunk. And you get a drawer each. And the only different one is number five, which is on this side in the back. I got a clip of it yesterday that I'll put in here. And, um... That's just two bunks uh, for two people instead of like the double for the four here. I'm not expressing that well, but yeah. So this is the uh, this is the arrangements for living uh, or sleeping basically, right? We live everywhere else that you've seen. But um... oh, and there's there's the aforementioned air conditioner, which is a lifesaver down here because it gets hot with four bodies. Um, I think I've now covered the entire boat. So I hope you enjoyed the tour, guys. Uh, from now on, you're going to see me. You know, living life on the boat, which is a lot more fun. But uh, hope you guys find this valuable. If you're thinking about taking a, a trip with, you know, a Guardian, and see what you'd be, uh, what kind of conditions you'd be looking at for living in general, hanging around the boat. Let's get on with the regular day now. Well, guys, um, 
they weren't kidding when they said it was 26, 27 hours. We've been looking, uh, looking at nothing but the uh, ocean and the sky for the whole day today. And uh, given that there's not much to show you right now, aside from what I did earlier with the tour of the boat, I think I'm going to sign it off here and call this a video, because tomorrow we will reach um, San Benedicto in the morning and we will start diving, and I figured that's a good, that's a good fresh video all by itself. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you got some good information out of this one, and I'll see you in the next one, which for me is tomorrow and for you is about a week. <laughs> Bye for now, guys.